So, um, all the uh, fake news, non-fake news, what I find interesting is when a news outlet creates a fake news thing, I also find it interesting when a news outlet creates a fictitious news segment that as if somebody, as if a different news outlet made it, trying to get them to uh, to appear fake, even though that they never posted it, all these things back and forth. It's almost like middle school, right? Do you hear what so-and-so said about your mother? Oh, that guy, that motherfucker said that bullshit about your fucking mother? Oh, you should kick his ass. And you never really bothered to check whether or not that guy even said anything about your mother, let alone knows your mother, let alone knows about you, but somehow you're heated and you want to take things after school behind the shed based upon some rumor that somebody else said, that somebody else said, that somebody else said about your mother, right? Rumor, right? To what extent is the rumor fake news? Oh my God, did you hear? So-and-so broke up. Ah, that's fake news. What if you wanted somebody else to think that the breakup was a fake news in order to do some other news? And it just keeps whirling around in a circle. If you're going around, going around saying, oh, it's uh, fake news, how do you know that the news you get is not fake? So you're going to say, oh, well, I trust it. Yeah, but those people that you're pointing out that they're listening to their fake news also trust the news that you're pointing to as fake. Now, whether it is or isn't is irrelevant. I'm not arguing whether it's fake news or not fake news. That's not the point of this. The point is, is, the, is the perception. So much like the perception of a threat outweighs the actual reality of a threat, to what extent does the perception of a fake news story outweigh the reality of, is it a fake news story? This is coming from a person, I, I, I mean, I've been the, the worst case of it's not what it looks like when it's not what it looks like because it's not what it looks like, even though it does look like that. One of those like three's company kind of moments where it's, it's not like that, but it appears that way. And then you try to un, and then you try to fix it, but any attempt to fix it just makes it seem guiltier that way. Like why would somebody try so hard to convince somebody that they're mistaken in their assessment? Well, they'll, they'll just think, oh, well, he's just, he's just trying to con me. He's trying to swindle me, trying to hustle me, trying to convince me of something. But at the same time, why are they so convinced of their own perception? Maybe because of their own jadedness, their own historical experiences of betrayal. Maybe they've betrayed others, so they think, oh, well, I gotta do that, right? I mean, I, I've even known some people that are like, oh, cheat on them before they cheat on you. You take that philosophy, you put it anywhere and everywhere, you're gonna end up with those kind of people, right? Cheat on them before they cheat on you. So even if it, whatever, they're, they're gonna keep thinking that, you're going to put them at odds. If they're, if they're playing with that competitiveness, even if I'm not being competitive, they'll think that my saying I'm not competitive is part of the ploy to get them not to compete. And so there is no way out of it. I mean, God, I wish there was a way out of it. I'm looking for the way out of it. Maybe the way out of it is communication and talking about it, pattern thinking, seeing how many times there's the same bullshit spurred by the same person, right? That's why I like to take bets sometimes. It's like, yeah, I'll be willing to lose a couple of five bucks here and there just to see the pattern, just to notice it, just to say, how many times are you doing the same bullshit over and over and over again, expecting me to fall for it? Well, makes both of us insane to some degree, doesn't it? Well, and in any case, that's just my uh, rant here for now. And, uh, you know, to be continued, I guess, another time, because I have just pulled in to the Trader Joe's, right? And there it is. Thanks for listening.